Hi kids! Today we will learn about our one-step mathematical equations, so let's get started. Kids, we write our mathematical problems or questions in the form of equations. Let's start with addition equations. What number must be added to 5 to get 20? We can write this mathematical question in the form of an equation, like this. We can replace the question mark with any alphabet, like A, B, C, X, or Y. And our equation becomes 5 plus X equals 20. So we have to find out the value of X. Here, 5 plus x is LHS, left-hand side of equation. 20 is RHS, right-hand side of equation. In any equation, the value of LHS must be equal to RHS. That is, 5 plus x must be equal to 20. Now, Let's learn how do we solve equations to find the value of x. Let x be on LHS and shift the other number on RHS. And while doing this, remember, whenever we shift any number from LHS to RHS or RHS to LHS, we have to reverse the sign, that is, Plus, we make it minus on. If it's minus, we make it plus. If it's multiplication, we make it division. If it's division, we make it multiplication. We will see many examples to clear our concept. And you will find it very easy at the end. So we have 5 plus x equals 20, retaining only x on LHS. It becomes x equals 20 minus 5, as the sign before 5 is plus on LHS. No sign means positive number or plus sign, so it will be minus on RHS. 20 minus 5 equals 15, so x equals 15. Now you can cross-check your answers too by putting the value of x in the original equation. Our original equation is 5 plus x equals 20. Now putting the value of x we just found is 15. 5 plus 15 equals 20. Now check it. 5 plus 15 equals 20. So LHS equals RHS. Hence, we proved the value of x we found is correct. Let's take another example. Subtraction equations. If we subtract 12 from a number, it gives 36. Then, what is the number? We can write this mathematical question in the form of an equation. x minus 12 equals 36. That is, if we subtract 12 from x, it will give 36. Now we have to find the value of x to find the number. Here, x minus 12 is LHS. 36 is RHS, and in any equation, LHS must be equal to RHS. Now, let's find the value of X. Let X be on LHS and shift the other number on RHS. While doing this, we know we have to make the signs opposite, so it will be X equals 36 plus 12. 36 plus 12 equals 48. 
So x equals 48. Now you can cross check your answer too by putting the value of x in the original equation. Our original equation is x minus 12 equals 36. And when we find out x equals 48, now put this value in equation. 48 minus 12 equals 36. Now check 48 minus 12 equals 36. So our LHS equals RHS. Hence the value of x we found is correct. Now let's take another equation. If we multiply 9 by a number, it gives 81. Then, what is the number? We can write this mathematical question in the form of an equation. x multiplied by 9 equals 81. That is, any number multiplied with 9 gives 81. And we have to find the number. Here, x multiplied by 9 is LHS. 81 is RHS. Now we have to find out the value of x. What we do here is, let x be on LHS and shift the other number on RHS. And while doing this, remember, whenever we shift any number from LHS to RHS, or RHS to LHS, we have to reverse the sign before the number. So we have x multiplied by 9 equals 81, retaining only x on LHS. We get x equals 81 divided by 9, as the sign before 9 is multiply in LHS. So, it will be division on RHS. 81 divided by 9 equals 9. X equals 9. Now you can cross-check your answer too by putting the value of X in the original equation. Our original equation is X multiplied by 9 equals 81. And we found X equals 9. Now put this value in equation. Putting the value, we get 9 multiplied by 9 equals 81. Check! 81 equals 81, so LHS equals RHS. Hence, the value of X we found is correct. Now let's take another example. If we divide a number by 4, it gives 25. What is the number? We can write this mathematical question in the form of an equation. x divided by 4 equals 25. Where? x divided by 4 is LHS. Now let's find out the value of x. What we do here is let x be on LHS and shift the other number on RHS. And while doing this, remember, we have to reverse the signs before the numbers in LHS. So, retaining only x on LHS, we get x equals 25 multiplied by 4 as the sign before 4 was division, so it will change to multiplication on RHS. Solving it, we get x equals 100. So we can cross-check your answer too by putting the value of x in our original equation. Our original equation is x divided by 4 equals 25. And we found x equals 100. Now put this value in equation. Putting the value 100, we get 100 divided by 4 equals 25. Now check 25 equals 25. 
So LHS equals RHS. Hence, the value of X we found is correct. So kids, today we learned one-step equations and how to solve them to find out the value of X and how to cross-check your answers by putting the value of X you just find out. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!